The original plan for our collective project was to conceive art that would be shown coinciding with the International COP26 Conference on Climate Change. Unfortunately, COVID-19 and lockdown intervened, postponing the conference and radically altering the way in which we approached our collective goals. My piece was going to be called The Red Threads of Fate, named after a mythical Chinese concept that connected fated lovers together. My idea was to create an accessible installation that audiences could walk through, poles of bamboo with handmade red paper string threading between them. Hung on each of these strings would be cards, and on these cards would be written text and illustrations. These cards would be arranged in such a way that one could traverse the length of a thread and see a human event becoming the cause of a climate change event, and the corresponding human impact it would have further down the line. Or in reverse, read about real people who had their lives changed as a result of climate events and see the chain of cause and effect that led to it. The idea was to present scientific data and combine them with personal anecdotes that would provide a human angle to bring out the audience's empathy, and build on that with solid, irrefutable evidence that things would have to change. As I dug my way through research papers, journals and articles, I noticed something. While it was possible to trace cause and effect in a linear manner, where one researcher's chain of events ended, another one would pick up, often leading back towards one or more of the causes of the original event I had been tracing. It also became clear that many events did not have one single clearly defined cause. Multiple events fed into them, often exacerbating the effects of other events. This, I realised, was the reason that it was often difficult to discuss climate change. While people can easily understand cause and effect, Having multiple events causing the same results and those results feeding back into the triggers for those events muddied the waters. It was too easy for the links between people's own actions and decisions to get lost in the relative ocean of other, larger events, and easier still for many to point to the alternatives. They would either absolve themselves of responsibility, asking, what about the others, why should I change? Or they would lose hope altogether, asking, why should I bother, will it even make a difference? I decided as a result of these findings to restructure the way in which I would present information in the installation. If life didn't follow simple linear strings, then my art couldn't either. I wanted people to see not just the stories contained within the systems of climate change, but also how complex everything could be. That we should be careful about the assumptions we make when we look at our own impact on the environment, because the consequences of our own actions is often very far removed from our experiences and amplified further down the line. More importantly, discovering that climate change operates in loops provides us with the opportunity to better control what's going on. The topic of our next video, Loops and Weaves. I'll see you there.